The university is going through the largest capital development programme in its history, which has seen the estate increase by 50%. It is critical in that context that each new building is developed to the highest possible sustainable standards. To achieve that, we put particular emphasis on design team selection. We ensure that we set challenging standards for all our design teams to ensure that they take account of all sustainable criteria. Particular emphasis is on life cycle cost analysis and all other criteria that deliver a sustainable building for the university. A sustainable building is one that respects its setting and minimises energy consumption during its construction and operation. It is a building that utilises locally available resources like groundwater and solar energy. It is important that a sustainable building is designed in a holistic way with the site, architecture and services working in harmony. The ethos of a green building very much fits with the mission of our institute, which is to encourage and facilitate a transformation to a low carbon and resource efficient society through excellent research. Um, a key objective of our institute is actually to facilitate um, interdisciplinary interaction between our researchers in different disciplines. I think the open plan layout of the building and the, the brightness of its spaces facilitates these research interactions. So here at Tyndall National Institute, which is one of Europe's leading research centres, we embarked on a very ambitious energy reduction campaign. Our campaign has so far saved us 24 gigawatts of energy use since 2008. For us here at Tyndall, that equates to over three years energy use for the site. Now we've done this through a series of capital investments, but also engaging with our staff and students who submitted over 125 ideas to help us achieve those savings. All of this has helped us to meet our 33% target set by the government eight years ahead of schedule. Tyndall National Institute is located on a site known as the Lee Mountains Complex. The site itself dates back to 1787 where it started off as a flowering mill and over the next two centuries was used as a mountain and a brewery operation by Beamish and Crawford and that continued right up until the 1950s. In 1968 the site was purchased by UCC and used as a teaching and a laboratory facility. In the early 1980s, the NMRC was founded and located here, and over the next 20 years that saw significant growth and expansion, and that was replaced by the Tyndall National Institute in 2004. The Western Gateway is a good recent example. We utilise the groundwater to heat and cool the building. Allied to the ground source heat pump, uh, the building utilises stack and displacement ventilation, CO2 occupancy sensors, heat recovery from the server room and sophisticated lighting controls. This innovation was recently recognised by the Sustainable Energy Authority of Ireland uh, in a Renewable Energy Award.